Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Phantom Wallet. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, you might be new to uh, cryptocurrency and you're wondering how do you start using the Phantom Wallet or in this case, if you already have an account or a wallet extension here, uh, how do you start using it? Well, in this case, the first thing you want to do here is you want to open up your browser. In this case, let's go open up Google Chrome here. And from here at the top right, you should be able to see a uh, puzzle icon here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually install the Phantom Wallet extension. Let's go ahead and click on the extension icon here. And we want to click on Manage Extensions. Now, on the left side, go ahead and click on Chrome Web Store. And the Chrome Web Store, what we need to do is we need to search for Phantom Wallet. Which in this case, at the top right, go ahead and type on or click on the search extensions in Teams here. Just type in Phantom Wallet, press on enter. And from here, you should be able to see Phantom Wallet. But then again, if you're not search properly, go ahead and just type in Phantom Wallet here. And just press on enter. And you should be able to see it. So in this case, we have Phantom here. So make sure that the Phantom Wallet or Phantom is from Phantom.app. So just to guarantee that you're using the actual app for it. So let's just wait for it to load up. So in this case, go ahead and click on the Add to Chrome button that you see on your screen here if you haven't added a uh, Phantom Wallet in to your account. So once you click or, or click on it, you can go ahead and access the uh, uh, wallet or the uh, puzzle icon again here and you want to search for Phantom Wallet and actually I actually recommend you to choose or click on the pin option here so that you'll be able to really or uh, access it uh, access it whenever you want so in this case whenever you click on the uh, the Phantom icon here there's a few things that you need to do so first things first if you're fairly new within uh, or you're fairly new with using phantom wallet here the first thing you want to do is you want to create your account so creating your account is actually pretty easy here so you just need to uh, basically provide a password for your phantom wallet and also remember the uh, secret keys or secret phrases that you'll be seeing on your screen so remember to save those phrases because in this case if you lose access on your computer as long as you have your phrases you'll be able to re-access or you'll be able to regain access back into your wallet which is something really important also do not share the secret phrases that you'll be seeing on your screen but in this case i would recommend you to write it down somewhere like for example a notebook without any tags on it like for example don't specify that this is for your phantom wallet just write down the actual phrases but in this case once you've done all of those you should be able to have your account here so in this case since we already have my account let's go ahead and enter our password now once you've entered your password you should be able to access your wallet so in this case as you can see there's a few things that we could do here so at the very top we have our account so obviously there's going to be different accounts or addresses that i have right now so i have an address for solana ethereum polygon and bitcoin so as well for you same with you if you create your account you should be able to access these wallets here now if you want to access more you could go and click on the top left here which is the tree bar icon and you have the option to add or connect wallets or other wallets in to your account so you could have multiple accounts in your phantom wallet here if you wish it so you could also manage your accounts if you want to. Again, if you have multiple wallets, you also have the option for settings if you want to change a few things like your preferences, you know, if you want to manage your account, even the security and privacy here if you want to add like for example, auto lock timer here, the option to change your password and actually download the application logs here if you want to. Now, in this case, obviously there's going to be a lot of things you could do here like address book here if you want to view your addresses or add your addresses here. Also have the active networks, uh, the connected apps on your phantom wallet. And you also have experimental features if you want to enable them and developer settings here. And if you want to request assistance, you can actually go to help and support here. So in this case, uh, what are the main features of Phantom Wallet here? So at the very bottom, we have our wallet. So it actually symbolizes by a dollar sign here. We also have the collectible section if you have any on your wallet. Also have the uh, swap option here if you want to swap. So for example, if you have Solana in your wallet, 
you could actually choose it and choose another coin to actually convert it. For example, if you want to convert to USDT, uh, Dog with Hat, and Jupiter Perp, so depending on what you want to actually swap it with to. So in this case, uh, this tool allows you to swap whatever uh, currency you have right now. You also have the recent activity here, so any activities that you are uh, actually done on your account, and you also have the uh, site or the uh, globe or the web version, which in this case allows you to visit sites, tokens, collections, quests, and a lot more. But in this case, we'll be focusing on the wallet here. So in the wallet, you have four or basically four main options or tools here. So at the very top, you have the current amount or the uh, price or the total value of your wallet. So in this case, the first uh, tool here is going to be the receive option. So the receive here allows you to receive crypto. So if you click on it, you'll have the option to basically copy the address itself or basically view uh, a QR code that they could actually use to transfer um, to your account, which in this case is actually fairly easy. Like if you want to transfer Solana, Ethereum, Polygon, or even Bitcoin here, just provide them the address and they should be able to transfer it. Now, also we have the send feature. Now, the send feature allows you to send from your wallet to another a wallet. So, meaning if you have funds that you want to give to your friends or if you're paying for something, this is how you actually send them. So, in this case, you can go and choose whatever you want to send here. Like, for example, Ethereum, go ahead and choose that. And just enter the recipient's Ethereum address and the amount that you want to send. Now, in this case, you go ahead and click on next one to provide all the details here and just confirm the transaction. Now, in this case, we also have the swap option here, like what we discussed before. So swapping involves uh, swapping from one cryptocurrency to another cryptocurrency, which in this case, uh, if you want to use it for different purposes, if you want to like, uh, if you just want to have it in your wallet, you go and do that as well. But in this case, uh, what are the other things that we could do here? Just go back to our wallet. Also, we have the buy option here, or buy tool. So if you click on buy here, you have a few things that you need to fill out. So first is going to be the cryptocurrency that you want to buy. So again, there's going to be a few things or a few uh, cryptocurrency that you can buy here. Like for example, we have Bitcoin, USDC, USD coin here, DAO, PayPal, USD. Yeah, so in this case, there's going to be a lot. So in this case, choose your payment here. Like for example, let's go and choose Ethereum. And from here, you want to actually uh, specify your the amount. The, the account section is actually automatic, so it's, it will be transferred to your account automatically. So you, need, you don't need to worry about it. So in this case, for example, we want to buy around $100 worth of um, you, uh, uh, Ethereum here. Let's go ahead and enter that, and we want to click on Next. Now, from here, we have uh, the option to basically uh, buy from different sources. So we have MoonPay, Meso, Coinbase on Ramp, Robinhood, and PayPal. So in this case, depending on where you buy it, like for example, uh, MoonPay or even Coinbase on Ramp here, uh, the prices itself and the amount that you'll be receiving will be dependent on the platforms. So in this case, I would suggest you to first visit different platforms and see how much uh, you could actually buy for a, spe a specific amount and see if that actually works for you. So in this case, you go, you'll go, you could go ahead and choose whatever here. Like for example, I'm going to choose MoonPay here, and we would actually open up the MoonPay section here, which allows us to start buying our crypto. So in this case, we need to provide a few details here. So uh, let's just wait for it to load up. But once it's actually loaded up, you should be able to buy a, uh, your crypto. So yeah, on the next pages, just follow the on-screen steps on how, how to pay for it. So if they require you to uh, provide basic details like your email or uh, some basic information about yourself, like your billing address, you go and provide that. And from then on, continue with your payment and you should be good. And that's about it. So those are the basics on how to use Phantom Wallet here. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.